Hello and welcome, my name is Brooke Shaden. I'm a fine art photographer and today we're talking about trends, but not in a bad way, in a good way. Like the way that the art industry is going and how maybe we could be a part of that because there are certain trends and I use the word more literally, not like things that just happen to be popular, but the way that the art industry is going that can be really exciting and it's great to think ahead to what consumers and other people, maybe people who buy art, would be interested in in the future. And I don't think this is selling out in any way. I think it's just smart business practice. And if some of these trends happen to align with what you want to do, all the better. It's really good to open your mind to things like this and just keep up to date with what's happening in the art world. So I did some research and I base a lot of this on my personal view of what I've seen work really well lately in the art world in terms of sales, in terms of traction. And these are three trends that I see emerging in the coming year as being a lot more popular than it has been in the past. One of them is interactive and experiential art. Art that allows you to interact with it in some way that gives you an experience rather than just looking at it. So virtual reality is really big right now and that's something that will continue to grow most likely in the coming years. And especially as the technology gets better and better and therefore more accessible to the average creator, which is awesome. So augmented reality, virtual reality, really um, awesome, but also just designing experiences for people. A great example of this is Meow Wolf and the rise of experimental radical interactive art. So this is a great thing to keep in mind in the future. If ever you feel that your art might want to take a dive in that direction, it might be a good direction to go or not, depending on your interests. Number two, in sort of the same vein, is alternative processes. So creating, um, you know, with encaustic, for example, which is the application of wax on your images, um, just using different processes than the traditional method of photography can be really great to just expand your art and get different groups of people looking at it. Another really big win for alternative processes is that it creates a one-off image. So instead of digital photography, where we could set any number of reproductions for it, this would create um, the sort of rare experience for a photographer now of having an original art piece that you could sell, which means you can sell it for a higher price, it's more desirable because it's the only one like it. So that's something important to consider too, is how can alternative processes and that application make your art more desirable in the future. And another trend that I've seen a couple of important galleries and museums mention is making old techniques feel new. So like really embracing the, the old masters and seeing how we can do something a little bit different with that now. So instead of just like totally experimental and everything is wacky and out there, how can you use old techniques in new ways? So those are three trends that I have noticed um, that are up and coming as of late that maybe are of interest to you. And if not, well, it's good to know, I guess and they are of interest to me. I am in particular working on a photo series that I've been doing for a couple years now called Samsara, and it's all about interactive experiential art. It's all about immersing the viewer into the experience of the art itself. It will contain sculpture, photography, performance art, and more. So that's what I'm up to lately, and um, it's really important to me that my art becomes more community-driven more experimental and so I'm excited to see where it goes and if the trend of your art is nowhere near what I just said who cares we make our own trends that's the beautiful thing about trend setting is that you do you and other people will pick up on that later so I hope that this video was fun and if you liked it then hit subscribe and share this with your friends that way I can keep making more videos thanks guys bye